So today I want to make another quick video. I want to show you another really interesting ohm particle from the um, Genesis ohm particle collection. And so I took one of them that reminded me of the Stingray Nebula. So there is one in the collection that looks an awful lot like a very famous nebula called the Stingray Nebula. And so I just want to do a little close up look on this one here. And so this particular shape is very strange. Okay, this is a very strange shape that I think is very difficult to understand um, using gravity alone in cosmology. And so um, I thought it was interesting that I found actually many, many shapes that look like this. Sometimes they have three uh, leaves, sometimes they have four, sometimes they have five or more. But um, the, the interesting thing is just this shape in particular. So why this shape for the Stingray Nebula? So what I did was I took some colors from the Stingray Nebula and, and colorized this, this own particle. And um, just to see uh, some of the similarities between these shapes. Now this is a very fuzzy picture. There are no really uh, clear pictures of the Stingray Nebula. So because it's kind of blurry, you don't see any of the details in terms of the uh, lines that we saw in the, the previous nebula that I showed you. But uh, there's a good chance that there are some lines, some streaks in uh, the Stingray Nebula that we can't see. And so you can see that just these curved regions that we see both in the Ohm particle and in the Stingray Nebula and this shape in particular um, I find it really interesting that I found many, many shapes in my collection that look uh, sort of reminiscent of, of this shape here and reminiscent of this shape here. And so I just wanted to show that to you. I just find this really interesting. There's, there's so many more uh, really interesting ohm particles that I want to bring you over the next couple of weeks. But uh, this one is actually one of the more fascinating ones. And so I'm just going to leave um, that with you. And uh, I hope you find this as interesting as I do. And, um, well, I guess I'll be back.